<sighs> Do you want to make money as a filmmaker? Well, what's the best genre? What feature film should you make next? Hi, Ridge here, and for over 20 years I've been a filmmaker, including two feature films. And it's my goal to help motivated filmmakers like yourself who are struggling with the process of making their first feature film to instead know the simple and achievable process of writing, shooting, and selling your feature film while ultimately achieving your dreams. And if that interests you, slap the like button. So today we're talking about what genre should you shoot? What genre, what genre should you shoot? Should, should you shoot a genre that is suitable? Today we're talking about what genre you should shoot. And I'm gonna be real honest with you, there is no magical solution. So let's get into it and let's break it down in as simple many steps as we possibly can. I wanna encourage you to stay to the end of the video so you don't misunderstand anything that I'm saying. So let's jump right into it right now. So the first step that every filmmaker needs to make is define and plan. So you may have a film that you want to have made, but maybe it's a sci-fi action film and something that you can't do for a very low budget. And when I say low budget, I mean ultra low budget. We're talking anything from three to 10 to $15,000. That's the type of film that you need to make for your first feature because you need the business and you need the practice. So take that baby film that you have, that good idea that you probably have and would love to have made as your first feature. I want you to put that in your back pocket, keep working on it. But in the meantime, I want you to come up with a concept that you can do and afford. So define and plan, know your resources. Whatever resources you have around you, make sure you can utilize them. For example, because you've networked with a bunch of people locally in your area, again, I'm gonna link in the description for a video on networking, you're gonna know what you have access to, locations, props, costumes, actors, and I want you to include them in the film as much as you possibly can. So what genre then should you make? Should you make action, horror, faith-based, what type of films should you make? Well, there's really no definitive answer. There are some easier ones that are easier to sell, but what really matters is your target audience. So let's jump in how to find a target audience. Now, what you do need to do as a filmmaker and as an entrepreneur, you need to spend time interacting with these audiences, whether it is on Reddit or on Facebook, different groups that get together and talk about particular types of films that they like. Once you've joined and you've communicated with them, you can start getting some ideas and inspiration for your next film. Now, of course, remember there's tons of different genres and those genres have subgenres. So sometimes you have to genre down. Is that a word, Ryan? Can you look it up? Jamie, pull that shit up. And once you've niched that genre down, you know you have a target audience. Be careful not to niche too far down. So I'm gonna make a feature film about a guy that uses garlic on everything. You don't use garlic on everything. <laughs> so he learns not to use garlic on everything. So having said that, there is no magic genre that's going to always guarantee your sale. So let's go over a couple genres that kind of already have a built-in audience and that is an audience and a target audience that's fairly easy to access. The first one is faith-based films. There is a huge market out there for faith-based films. That's why a lot of secular groups are doing faith-based films. So there's that. Because there's an audience that wants good, clean, wholesome family films. Now, having said that, with the faith-based films, I want to encourage you, just make it cookie cutter. Make it exactly like what people are expecting to see in this particular genre. Don't try to be too smart. Don't try to be like, I just really feel like God's calling me out to make one of these, like, it's not a preggy faith-based film, and it's not a, a cheesy faith-based film, but it's one of those faith-based films that it's like, you know, people, you know, they expect like everything to happen beautiful on the end, but this one's not gonna do that. This one's gonna show like the sad, the sad. And that's what I'm, that's, that's what I feel like God's asking me to do. Don't do that because it's more than likely not going to reach them. You can't try to push the boundaries. Watch a lot of these films 
and get an idea what this audience is expecting to see when they go to watch one of these films. Make it exactly like that with your own unique storytelling and your own unique spin on it, but don't try to be a smart donkey and come up with a new version of this genre. That's the biggest way to make sure your film fails. The next genre is horror and slasher. Horror and slasher films have forever always been popular because humans for some reason have a morbid obsession with it. I'm not really into those genres. I do enjoy a good thriller every once in a while with a good couple jump scares, but for the most part horror is not my thing. But horror and slasher can be really good. Now I want to also remind you that there is a ton of horror films out there. So yours has to be really unique and it has to be niched down. So you may want to go make a horror film. Well, what type of horror film is it? Is a creepy doll film? Is it a creepy clown film? Is it a 80s style horror film? Is it a slasher with a one particular type of weapon or something like that? It has to be unique, but however, it also has to be exactly like what your target audience is, is expecting to see when they go to watch it. Again, don't be a smart donkey and try to reinvent the wheel. So I'm thinking like the horror film is really a romance. She falls in love with the monster. So it's like horror slasher, gross, disgusting. She falls in love with the monster and the monster realizes the evil of his ways and doesn't do horror things anymore. Give your audience what they're expecting to see when they go to watch your movie. Action. Action is a little more difficult to do because A, it costs a lot of money and it's dangerous. You can potentially get hurt if some of your action sequences potentially require dangerous situations. However, it can be a wonderful, awesome genre for you to tackle, but again, you gotta ask yourself, where's your target audience? Is it a sci-fi action film? Is it a fantasy action film, all these things present their own set of challenges. So I want to encourage you to make sure you know your target audience. And again, I will advocate, don't be a smart donkey. Give your audience what they're expecting to see. And by now, you should know the genre because you're going to spend a lot of time watching these low budget action films and you'll know what your audience is expecting to see. Put your own talent, put your own work in it, put your own storytelling in it, but make sure it's exactly what they're expecting to see. So those genres would be my three recommendations to start with and then begin to kind of narrow down from there. Now I'm not saying that you can't go make a rom-com or a comedy. The other method of starting a fire, which was invented by the by the Ret, the Native Americans, uh, well you just rub the sticks together and it make sparks go down and starts the fire. So that's what I will. But if you do, you have to know and you have to understand where your target audience is at. Who's going to be watching this? How are they going to find it? And are you able to get that film in front of that audience? I'm going to recommend Alex Ferrari's Rise of the Film Entrepreneur. It is a fantastic book. He talks so much about finding niche audiences for your films and many other ways that you can monetize that film to become successful as a film entrepreneur. Because anymore is not about where you sell your movie. It's about the other products that you sell with it. This, this, I was, I was trying to do a, an accent so that, that? that didn't work. No, I'm fine with it. I just was curious what accent it was. It's the gun. It's the Godfather. Not even close. It's the Godfather. Not even close. Let's just edit this out. If you don't plan to have your film make money through other means and you just plan to like upload it online and hope you get a good distribution deal, you're in for a very disappointing surprise that you're not going to make that much money. So again, let's recap just real quick. First of all, make sure you know your audience. Know where your audience is going to be watching movies, what type of movies they're going to be watching. Second of all, know your genre. Don't jump into a genre that you're unfamiliar with. If you don't know what these types of films are like, don't make that type of film. And third of all, be a good storyteller because we live in an awesome time that more than likely your film is going to be a VOD, which is advertised video on demand. Instead of people paying for it and then suddenly you got them hooked and it doesn't matter, you made your money, you're actually getting paid to keep them engaged. So having a really good story and having a really well done product 
actually matters more now than it has ever before. So make sure you follow those three suggestions and that you try to keep within some of those most popular genres and those most popular niches and groups. So now that you've decided what genre that you want to shoot in and you've discovered your target audience, the next step that you need to take on your journey to making your feature film is going to be budgeting your film so you know how much it actually costs to make this product. I'm going to link to a video here which is the next in the series about budgeting and I'm going to link to another video here if you haven't seen it already and don't forget that in the meantime always be creative.